Welcome to episode seven sixteen, Linda Resnick, Ten Lessons. This is an outline of episode seven sixteen, lesson one to lesson five. This is an outline of episode seven sixteen, lesson six to lesson ten. Lesson one. An accidental billionaire, she spent decades dabbling on many things way into her thirties. She was a child actress. She wanted to start an ad agency, and she was involved in janitorial services. Lesson two: She's the richest agricultural billionaire in the United States, with a net worth of four and a half billion dollars. I calculated she owns two hundred and eleven square miles of orchards in Texas, California, and Mexico, where they grow pistachios, almonds, pomegranates, and mandarin oranges. Lesson three: A husband called Genius. Linda Rasney often refers to her husband as the Genius. While Linda is a college dropout, Stuart Resnick earned B.S. and J.D. from UCLA. They were both divorced and in their thirties when they met. Stuart Resnick is eighty-three years old in twenty twenty. He's still active. Linda Resnick is seventy-six years old. Lesson four: Lifetime learning. It took the Resnicks forty-two years to build the empire. Frankly, before in, in creating these mega brands, and as I said, you, you know, the pomegranate. Most people couldn't have spelled the pomegranate before you I started. Still can't thank God for yeah. the spell check. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but what is it about your approach to? Well, I don't know that I have anything special except、um, this. Great desire for lifelong learning, and so I think that part of the due diligence we do before we buy a company is to make sure that it, there is a unique selling proposition and that that the brand really does deliver the value. Lesson five: What does a what does a sweet deal smell like? Nose for good deals. What does a good deal smell like? <laughs> no, I think I try to keep it. Think about it simply.、Mm -hmm. You know, I think what people do when they look at、uh, acquiring companies, they they very focused on the history, and I kind of say the history is only interesting. What's going to happen in the future? So, I I look at futures and think, you know,、uh, can I bring some skill to it, something special that'll make a difference?、Um, and then it's hard work. Is it? Lesson six: Introducing new products such as the wonderful Halos Orange. <laughs> Uh, Halo is a mandarin type fruit, which is sweet, easy to peel, and seedless. It is not an orange. Depending on the orange type, some have seeds, some don't.、Um, Halos never have seeds. It's a different type of citrus in the citrus family. Or the lesson seven: identity that consumers can relate to. Our tumultuous times, the brands. And products and services and businesses that will survive in the 21st century are the ones that have a real identity, an identity that the consumer can relate to. Lesson eight: Giving back to workers, both in healthcare and in education. The location is Los Hill, Central Valley, California. I realized that I had to do something besides writing checks. But I didn't quite know what I wanted. Do, but after lots of research, I decided that the Central Valley was the place in the most need that related to our lives because we have employees there, and、uh, that they are the working poor. And I picked a little town of Black Hills after a lot of research, and I started focus groups and then home surveys where we went to every house and、right. conducted an in-home survey to find out what they thought they needed. Because、Brilliant. how would I know? What someone in Lost Hills would need. So, lesson nine: execution and hard work beat strategy. You know, look. The truth is, it's execution. Yeah. I mean, you can、um, uh, give me great execution and fair strategy, and I'll beat great strategy and fair execution every time. Lesson ten: cash flow and landlord. 
The Resnicks own more than 200 square miles of orchards in Texas, Mexico, and California. They use their agriculture as cash flow, and over time, they also reap the benefit of landlord. Their company, Wonderful, is 100% privately owned. They never use venture capital. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Have you eaten almond or pistachio lately? Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.